In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid looping artifacts while making fair 2D terrain materials. Uh, so here I've got an example of a terrain material that's definitely not looping quite right. You can see a big seam here, another big seam here. There's a couple of spots where you'll see smaller seams, but basically there's just a lot of seams on this material and it needs a little bit of work. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna go over here to Photoshop where I've got my um, material out already. And you can see I've got it set up to a grid. Each of these grid units is 64 by 64 pixels. Um, and this is actually uh, set up just the same way that I have it uh, sliced in the uh, material editor in Unity. So yeah, this is a, a grid slice. This is the left cap. This is the first body segment, second body segment, and then right cap. So I know exactly where these seams are going to be. They're going to be right under these grid lines. Uh, I recommend any time that you're creating a fair 2D terrain material that you do set up some sort of grid and adhere to that because it will help you later on when you're trying to do similar things like this or lining up your features or just uh, setting up the slicing uh, guides as is. So. Um, yeah, use the, the grids, it's good. So the trick that I use here, it's a relatively simple thing. And basically what I do is I just grab um, a set of a couple of pixels from on either side. Uh, four pixels is usually pretty good. I'll copy this and then I'll paste this at each intersection. So um, it can be important to, to line it up right. Um, do, 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 do. And then I'm just going to use the arrow keys to, to move it over because that's the easiest way to get it right. And then paste it again. Make sure this lines up right. Yeah, and then arrow keys over to the other one. So that will give me basically a set of guides uh, to work with. You know, I can see there that I need to make sure that it hits that point, and I need to make sure it hits that point. So that, that gives me something to, to work towards and, and make sure that the seams r line up properly. Um, and so I'll probably also need to get rid of this spot over here and over here, because that's not going to work out too terribly well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a little bit of painting real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to flatten out the edges there, uh, and then I'm going to redraw some of this border so that it, it works better. And then draw in the edges some. So you can see there I'm just slowly eliminating the scenes. And um, you'll notice here that I've got the, the seams as over top of it, and this helps it, me so that I don't end up drawing over top of the seams. Um, which if you draw over top of the seams, then you're changing the seams, and that's that's generally not good. And then smooth out this bit, smooth out that bit. Maybe a little bit there. Um, and get rid of some of this one too. Maybe add in a little bit more of the outline again. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then over here as well. So I'm not doing like a, a really bang up job here. I'm just kind of filling it in. Yeah, obviously, the more time you spend, the better results you get. But you can see there that I've got rid of most of the really sharp seams. Um, and let me let me get rid of this bit here too, because that's gonna. And then I can do, 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 get rid of it there, get rid of it there. So that should be that. So not perfect, but that that'll that'll illustrate the point. So you can see there, just you know, take those seam slices, drop them on top, and we'll see how good that looks. I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna go over, and there you go. So all those really harsh seams are actually completely gone now. You know, a little bit of uh, finesse on there and you'll have perfect perfect seams so there you go it's a relatively simple trick but try it out